morning from Tennessee. We are here um, for Eric's Ironman. So I'm just gonna take you through a day of how I packed my meals, what I'm eating. Um, it's currently, I think, 11 a.m. and I'm gonna be going to the gym soon. So I'm gonna eat before I go. Yesterday was high carb day, today is lower carb day. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing for protein. Protein tends to be like the hardest thing to get in when you are traveling. So I'm just gonna show you um, what I've been doing for that. All right, here we have cream of rice. I added a little bit of almond milk and um, some stevia. Not quite like at home, but it's good enough. This is my breakfast. I'm doing three egg whites and then one whole egg. And then in here, we were able to get chicken from Whole Foods. Um, we have salmon and then almond milks. I'm not doing the coconut yogurt, but I'm doing this. And then um, we got that at Publix, and then this has been my pre-workouts. Some people use drawers for clothes, we use them for food. So basically what I have is rice cakes. This has been my main carb source. I have almond butter. This is a really, really good brand. Um, my supplements, digest, enzymes. Um, coffee, of course, found that at Whole Foods yesterday. And then I've got Ultima, and then we have this, and then Eric has the good stuff down here. Yeah, that's so. the situation we got going on. I'm just gonna eat this and then uh, head to the gym. I am doing shoulders. Uh, my cardio has bumped up this week, so we are six weeks out and just staying on point, especially while traveling. We're gonna be here for a few more days. And yeah, so I'll see you guys at the gym. Just got back from the gym and I'm making some coffee and and I'm going to get uh, some post-workout carbs in. Um, super simple, I'm just gonna do my usual rice cakes and a little bit of almond butter and then I have some, uh, and then I will have a little bit of chicken on the side. So, not super exciting. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do when you're in a hotel. So good, it's always my favorite. just got this travel food scale. I ordered it on Amazon and it came in this package, it came with a battery. This is what it looks like. And I was just testing the accuracy compared to my home food scale. So 76 grams. This thing is, I'm so happy with this thing. This thing has been awesome. Just switch to grams. I'm gonna weigh out a tablespoon of this and that'll be breakfast. I'm not really sure what our plans are for the rest of the day. I know Eric just wants to, you know, relax and stuff before his race tomorrow. So we may just do some walking around town. And if we do, I will take you guys along and I will show you guys my meals for the rest of the day. This is like the most boring thing ever, but I just weighed out um, some sliced turkey, about three ounces, and you know, that will be my protein. I'm essentially eating, you know, the exact same things just cause it's like super, super simple. So 
carb sources. I'm gonna do some rice and then I um, think we are just gonna, you know, chill for the night and then his race is tomorrow. And so I'll hope, hopefully be able to grab some footage of that and I will be picking up some treats for him. I am really excited to surprise him. And yeah, it's been such a great weekend. Um, yeah, it's been really good, really good so far. It's 5 a.m. Eric went to go drop off stuff um, at his bike and then we're gonna head down to the swim. Um, it's raining a little bit this morning, but I think he's gonna do really well and he likes it. So I sent Eric off this morning. He is doing so good. Um, he finished his swim in an hour and he's on the bike. It is unfortunately raining right now, so I hope that that doesn't slow him down too much. So I'm probably not gonna see him until late tonight. And um, so I'm gonna go to the gym again. And um, just according to rain, we'll see if I stay inside or if I go out and explore a little bit. So for now, I'm just going to eat breakfast, do a little bit of work, and we'll see where the day takes us. All right, this is what I got for him strawberry cupcake and a snickerdoodle chocolate covered strawberry and then a chocolate peanut butter cupcake i am so excited for him he's doing awesome he is going to love these so he's on his run i'm literally just like watching the map update he's scrolling very closely you can see him moving so he's almost done with his run I am praying that he's gonna reach his goals. I think he will. Um, he is currently sitting to finish in about 45 minutes. I'm so excited for him. So, um, yeah, after this, we are going to uh, go get some food. Um, I will probably just keep with my chicken and I'll probably do like a dry salad, something like that. But. Um, I'm so amped to be here to support him. And that is one thing that, this is actually something I wanted to talk about. Um, it can be really hard to be on prep and be you know, supportive with um, somebody who does such a completely different sport where um, eating more food for him is a huge part of his nutrition. And you know, being able to celebrate with him post uh, competition is always really fun but I'm not going to be able to this time and that's okay I care more about spending time with him and celebrating him by being with him versus having you know versus participating in the food aspect of it um so i'm just i'm overall really really proud of him and i hope that if you are on a fitness journey yourself it's just so important to remember that it's all about being present with whoever you are celebrating. Um, and it doesn't have to be about the food, right? I, I hope that through these videos, I'm showing you guys that there is a, another way that you can do it and that, um, you know, you don't have to feel guilty about it or feel anxiety about it because, you know, what it really is all about at the end of the day is spending time with whoever you are celebrating. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on that super quickly. So I am going to uh, finish my coffee. I have, um, I went to Whole Foods, got some Four Sigmatic, which is my absolute favorite instant coffee. So I'm gonna finish this coffee and then I'm going to head down and um, meet him at the finish line. And I will see you guys at dinner. Come on, Eric! Eric, you are on it. All right, we are on our. Uh, second to last day of this trip. We are currently in Atlanta, Georgia, and we fly out tomorrow. And so I just wanted to show you guys our little kitchen situation, which is actually really, really nice. Um, and some of the things that I found at Trader Joe's uh, for protein sources. So here's our cute little kitchenette. Um, 
it would have been really really awesome to have had this in the last hotel but is what it is and so um these videos are fun because i can show you um some of my protein hacks uh, for travel so this is what i found these little egg wraps um are so good they're five grams of protein per wrap um no fat no carbs so that's been a really awesome thing I actually we didn't get this at trader joe's we got this at uh, the kroger but this is what we found at trader joe's and this this is just freaking awesome um macros on here are just awesome there's like very little ingredients to it um so really really amped about those protein uh, finds so overall i just kind of wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this trip i'm six weeks out um i have traveled on prep before and i'm not gonna lie like it this was challenging this was a challenging trip especially with time zone change and you know having a hotel that didn't have you know direct microwave access but um i'm really really grateful gym situations completely worked out i just got back from the la fitness uh here and it was actually a really really nice gym i was actually really really amped about that so the training aspect was really simple for me that's always the easiest part um food sources uh you know a little bit harder you know i'm not a huge fan of you know deli meats i really like my basics and that type of stuff so i am excited to get home and um get back to my kitchen in like regular routine but i did the best i could for this trip um i stayed you know within five ten grams of my macros every single day um you know not the most optimal uh food choices that i you know would typically do but i you know my advice is always to be as close as possible to what you're typically used to at home and that is what i did uh minus the deli meats i do not do that ever but that is like the best thing you can do uh, when you don't have much options as far as uh, when you travel um i have my check-in the day after we get back and so i absolutely have no idea where i'm going to land but i do feel like i'm looking you know pretty decent we'll see where we land I have no idea what my weight is at. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so it'll be a good surprise. But I can just say, you know, I did my very, very best. And when I get back, it's going to be, you know, nose to the grind. So look forward to taking you guys on my dialing in these next six weeks as I go into this next show. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.